Hello, welcome back to the woods. Welcome back to an update about what we've been up to this weekend, because this weekend was the Morse Kahansky Memorial Campout Weekend. So it's been two years since Morse Kahansky, Wilderness Living and Survival Skills Instructor passed away. And a few of us thought that perhaps what we should do is get together and do something for charity to raise money for cancer research. And this weekend, that is exactly what we've done. We met up in Kent, there's quite a few of us there, and we practiced some Moors type skills. We set up super shelters and we slept out on what was a pretty horrendous, uh, wet, very windy, quite chilly weekend. And here are some of the things we got up to. And then pretty much there it is. Now you just keep an eye on it. Now when I, it's funny, isn't it? This one is designed to two separate poles, which then give a gap uh, in between the ropes. inside the super shelter thank you very much Moors this is absolutely fantastic and it's been a fantastic weekend I'm going to get my head down now and I'll catch up with you guys on the other side so the blankets off <clears throat> I've taken most of my wall layers off and it is very I want to thank all the guys that came along, uh, Graham, Mr. Parker, <coughs> uh, Dave Hunt, John, uh, John Cramp, uh, Barney, Des for his fantastic uh, demonstration of making a, a stove out of a log, Ben and Eve, Jeepster Dave, if I've missed your name, I'm really, really sorry. Uh, Chris Hudson, Wilderness Nomad, all of those guys who came out and took part, it was fantastic, fantastic. Thank you very, very much. And obviously we also want to thank Craig from Black Wolf Survival for hosting at this beautiful, beautiful site. And it really is absolutely top notch. But they weren't the only guys that donated and came out. There were lots and lots of you guys heading out into the woods to do stuff this weekend. People like Rob Evans Outdoorsman, go over and check out his video. Uh, he's done a two-part one, which is 
very, very good. He also did a little cheeky one on Friday. Rad Brad is a legend. Go and watch that one as well. Not forgetting the other guys who were out. There was the Sussex Bushcraft Group. They met up this weekend. There was also uh, the guys up in Yorkshire. There was uh, Paul Adams and Scruff, a whole group of you guys. Sam Gravestock, he came along to R1. He also did the Camp Salty one the weekend before. Hats off to you, mate. You did really, really well. As well as those guys in the UK, uh, John MacArthur, Kelly Holton, and all the guys over in Alberta and Canada who also went out, the photos look amazing. Those guys had snow and minus 20 temperatures you lucky lucky buggers we had rain and the temperature that went up and down like a tart's knickers as my grandfather would have said anyway there is one more thank you and that is to all the people who don't donated not only the guys who came along who who donated money but also all those other people who didn't come along but donated anyway the last time I checked, and I'll check again when I get home, I think it was going up to about a thousand pounds, which is absolutely amazing. And I know there were other people who also uh, raised money for the same course, cancer research, by being out this weekend. So thank you all very much. Now, it has been suggested that this actually becomes an annual event. It's something that we do every single year not only to remember Moors, but to remember friends and loved ones who we've lost along the way, while at the same time spending a bit of time in the woods um, and raising money for good causes. If you think it's a good idea, well, make a comment in the box down below. Let me know. If you think it's a good idea, then perhaps we will roll it out every year and it will become an annual thing. One other thank you, and that's for a very kind message from Marissa uh, Kahansky, Morsi's daughter. Thank you very, very much. <clears throat> they, were, they were very kind words. Anyway, that's enough. Um, I've been Neil, and until next time, stay safe.